trials and errors of fun. Oh my goodness, that's staying that fast? Yo, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> voice calling from within our core what, what are we, we here, here for? for we realize that our power lies in how we live our lives and how we choose to show up so, so we, we choose, choose to show up as rooted crowns and, and this is our living, living prayer. prayer burn from the earth on a path to reclaim our name nature ancestral medicine to, to heal, heal our home. home we sow this prayer in our bodies between many hands and upon our land in direct response to self-hate for scarcity and climate change but it's simple for real. real we plant food forests and concrete jungles inspiring youth to lead us out this struggle nourishing our bodies is living proof sharing all we do to amplify this truth yeah, yeah, we, we documenting it all. Bringing it to you so you can feel this call in person online. Yeah, we standing tall, really crowns. crowns. Let's rock with it, y'all. Are we rolling? Yeah. All right, y'all. So we checking out the reopening of Flourish. And the juice bar. Y'all don't know Flourish. Here in Baltimore, I'm an Elijah, hey. birth coach, and a doula. Hey. 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 Don't go walking out. <laughs> Don't go walking <laughs> out. <laughs> Just beautiful, beautiful mama who helps basically help birth so many of our, you know, little beautiful babies in this community. Um, she's reopening her store. Her store, they sell a lot of, you know, incense, herbs, stones meditation um, objects and uh, yeah we're gonna go and support about uh, your classes oh class is yeah, tomorrow yeah, what day wait a minute yeah what's what's this what's the schedule like, is it every Sunday well it was every Sunday now tomorrow will be our last Sunday class of the season so it's 10 a.m. tomorrow and then okay. we'll be rescheduling for a different day for spring and summer okay. on Wednesdays at 6 and 7 a.m. so yeah. Wednesday you can choose your session 3801 Greenmount Avenue. Greenmount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Christina Cook, aka Miss Chris. That's right. Nikki, the creator. Creator. Right. Instructor, practitioner. Oh. So, yes, come join us for some wellness practices. Sunrise classes on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Nice y'all. Get with it. <laughs> Get like, your energy right. Yeah. Peace, family. Peace. Peace. So, just wanted to reiterate again. Um, Flourish is a community that has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's a community that has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's a community that has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's a community that has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's a community that has been around for over 100 years. Um, it's a community you know, we're focusing, or I'm focusing a lot on cleansing um, and detox. You know, it's just spring cleaning. This is a time when I like to take this right here. This is called Ninica. And this is a West African herbal blend that's thousands and thousands of years old. Um, this has been preserved by the Tem people. The Tem people are a group in uh, Togo, an ethnic group in Togo, that are very well known for their healing knowledge. And... Um, 
I learned about Ninika and Sule. Ninika, the blood cleanser, and Sule, the liver and kidney cleanser, through Ancasta Natural Healing, which is the healing center of the Earth Center, um, which I am um, an apprentice healer, um, a student. So for the Ninika, I actually have some brewing on the stove here. It's very simple. You need to take this ball and you drop it in about a liter of water and you let it, you let it boil. And after it boils, it turns into almost like a blood red color, as you can see right here. One of these jars is about yeah, two days worth of medicine. So you drink you know, a quarter of this jar on the rising as you as you wake up. You know, another quarter before you go to bed and then repeat the next day. So that, that's there for your blood cleanser. And blood cleansing is something that not a lot of people focus on, but it's super part super important part of detoxing. I wanted to also show you um, the Sule. Now the Sule is um, this Sule actually is a liver and kidney cleanser but also a liver builder. The way to take this, you know, this one cannot is not water soluble. So it has to be taken with some type of um, sauce. So, you know, either vegetable sauce, if you eat meat, it could be in a meat sauce. I'm just gonna do it today with uh, some salsa. I'm gonna take a teaspoon and put Put about a teaspoon of the medicine in there. And I'm just gonna drop enough sauce in there that it mixes completely. Now I'm just gonna mix mix the medicine in. And this is the the hard part is ingesting it. It's very bitter. What we have to realize is that you know bitter is one of the flavors that um has almost been taken out of the American palate. You know, we have very few bitter foods. Um, whereas you look all over the world, bitter is incorporated into the cuisine of every culture on the planet. Every culture that's, you know, health oriented, understanding how to cleanse the body through the diet, um, as well as just taking your bitters. Like some people, you know, that's the way people stay right. Ninika and Sude, these are maintenance herbs. So anybody can take these. Um, they're just, you know, you can take them twice a year just as a basic maintenance regimen. I like to do it in the fall and the spring. And, um, and also if I'm feeling like I need more, you can take more and you won't, you won't see any negative side effects unlike some of your other, um, you know, other medicines. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna eat this right now because it's intense and I'm gonna eat it with some, uh, with some bread, with some, some chips. The next one I wanna, introduce you is the um, the wache. Sometimes you'll see it pronounced wache. I've heard it pronounced wache. So wache leaves, these are dried sorghum, sorghum leaves. And the reason we're taking this is actually, this is for Ife. Ife is pregnant and she is needing some more iron. This is another West African remedy um, that we're gonna combine, we're gonna, um, we're gonna brew this like a tea same way we did the Ninika. And then afterwards, we're gonna add our goat milk. Um, this is evaporated goat milk. Uh, you can use it, any type of animal milk. Um, I did ask my, my teacher, Mahez, I asked him one time if I could use coconut milk or coconut cream, because I'm always trying to avoid dairy. But he was like, listen, this is medicine. You just, you just take it. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, you gotta put that Put those things aside when you're dealing with your health. You can't be so stuck to an ideology that you won't even take a medicine that can heal you. And so we chose goat milk over cow's milk just because our goats, goat milk is very similar to human milk, um, or more similar than any other animal. And these wache leaves, they're also used in, um, in cooking. And um, they, they give food a nice, um, a nice flavor, but also a nice color. And you're gonna see this tea is gonna turn a deep red, just like the Ninika. Blood red, no joke, it's going straight to the blood. 
of trials and errors of fun. Oh my goodness, that's staying that fast? Your one is crazy. <laughs> All right, so once again, you see how dark the color of this watch is? Here's the Ninica. Here's the watch. All right, so you don't need that much milk, but you're putting enough. It's gonna turn pink. If you're interested in a consultation, you should come through um, to the Earth Center. or call the number for the, the, if you're in Baltimore, hit up the Baltimore location. If you're in Montreal, New York, um, Chicago, West Africa, England, branches all over the world. If you're in Baltimore, we're gonna be having a, uh, an event on April 13th at uh, 2304 Wichita Avenue. That's in the Mondawmin neighborhood. And um, we're going to be talking about some West African remedies, such as Ninika and Sule. I'm going to go in-depth. You know, come through. See what it's all about. It's good to know about. So, um, hope to see you at the event on the 13th. Is the man.